We have a new Gohan form, finally. So I always said, like, I was like, if Gohan reached his full potential, you know, he would destroy everyone. Ever since, you know, that fight with Cell when he hit Super Saiyan 2. Um, so I thought I'd do a drawing. I haven't watched the movie yet. I've seen stills and I think it's going to be canon. I think they're going to make this form like an actual form. So interesting. I wonder how strong it is compared to like Ultra Instinct or Ultra Ego. So let's go. Landscape page. Use a pencil and an eraser. Sketch it out lightly first, you know, erase your mistakes, all that kind of stuff. And then if you want, you can do ink on top afterwards. Don't start with ink. That's not a good idea. But I'm stupid, so that's why I do it. Um, <laughs> so let me see. Where's my picture gone? All right. So his head, like his hair is massive. I've seen, I've seen some of that 3D animation. I'm not a fan. Like it's getting there. But um, I prefer normal animation. So maybe someday it'll be really good. So let's go. Center point of my page, we'll start with his eyebrows, right? And that W in the middle of the eyebrow. So just focusing on his face and maybe some of his shoulders and the hair and stuff. So W in the middle. Like that, right? Sort of W shape. Right, and the eyebrow is gonna come out from there. So we sort of tick. that right and then they have a square end and then they go down and then you do the same thing pretty much on the other side right square end and then down that so then eyes square eyes we have a short line a long line and then they sort of curve together like so short line long line and they will curve together like so I think that bit of his eyebrow. I'm just going to make that a bit, a little bit narrower. Sorry about that. Just, just don't like that. It's kind of fat down there. I'm going to just make it skinnier. So just bring it down this way. Just a little bit skinnier. Down to there. All right. So then his eyes, just these sort of half circles up underneath. So, another same sort of space. Like so. And then his nose, so we've got slightly left of center. So we just go down, in, and kind of hook up like that. And there's a diamond underneath. For the shadow. So they, they draw in the shadow. It's kind of like this sort of diamond sort of shape or triangle shape on the side. Then so some wrinkling kind of frown lines. And then cheek marks coming across here. His mouth, flat sort of dragon ball mouth, real close to the nose, and then shadow underneath his bottom lip. <clears throat> right, and then the chin, square enough sort of chin there, and then his jaw. So we just go 
pull it to the side. To the side. And you're sort of start stopping sort of mouth level, see that? And kind of on the corners of the eyes. Right, just down from here, mouth level. Sort of lines up there. Right, and then the side of his face. Up to there. Side of the face. Up to there. And that's where we sort of get the sideburn sort of area then. So the sideburns come up. And start to curve around. You might have those sort of lines there like that. And then his ears. Kind of like so. Down and in. Real sort of sticky out ears in Dragon Ball characters. And then ear lines on the inside. <clears throat> like so. More inside them here. Lots of different ways to do this. That's just one way. Right, so his hairline then starts to come around his head. And it zigzags down to a V sort of in the middle. It goes up the other side. And then we have that one spike comes down across his face there. <clears throat> Covers a good bit of his eye. Goes up, around, down and in. And then we'll add some sort of just like some frowning lines just here. <clears throat> and if you want like some scratches on his face and stuff, you could do that too. Maybe it would be like some blood coming down. And then we just kind of continue the hairline. So like go across and then keep going. Down to there. And there might be some hairlines, texture lines in there. And then his hair, right? So, <coughs> sorry for the cough, <clears throat> tickly throat. So his hair is massive. I, I won't do it as big as they did it in the CG sort of version. I'll just do a sort of big-ish, bigger than his short hair, but not as big as theirs. <clears throat> I don't know why his hair got bigger, but <laughs> it did. So we'll go small spikes first, right? And the next one is slightly bigger. Right, and when you're doing Dragon Ball hair, it goes up to like a point in the middle. It's kind of like a candle flame. Right, so like say the center spike would be right up the top of my page, somewhere up here. Right, so right up there. Okay, and everything else goes towards that. So say on this side. There. And this one goes up there. All right, and then we go up again. They gradually kind of get bigger as you go up as well. This. There's, there's like a big one in the center here. That and then one in behind those, and then this goes down and into there. And then another one that spikes up this way, down, in, spike, down, in, and this goes down there, like so. So that's roughly our shape, right? And that looks good to me. So um, then texture lines on the hair, right? So each sort of hair spike will have all these kind of texture lines. We can do these lots of different ways. There's no one right way or wrong way. You just sort of follow each um, spike. 
<clears throat> and there might be some there, but we'll have to erase those first. Right. <clears throat> then, so neck, shoulders, right? So real wide neck here. Neck muscles, right? Then this trapezius, large as well. Goes down that way. Like so. And then center line for his chest is about here. So that like bumps real wide. Like so. Right, and then we have some more anatomy for his neck. Inside there, sort of like Adam's apple kind of shape there. Neck muscle, trapezius coming down. Another sort of bump on his chest here easiest hatching lines there <laughs> so then shoulder purple clothing right kind of ripped and torn this going down this way like that and then on this side normal not ripped and torn you can rip it and tear it if you want it okay and then center line for his chest bumps down this way you'll have some muscle striation muscle fibers bodybuilder type bodies on dragon ball characters <clears throat> and then big shoulders sticking out this way. Real round. There, and you could have like muscle line there. Like side of his chest, we should see maybe something there as well. And then like another shoulder line, shoulder line. There. Then, so what's his aura like? Um, I'm going to get a picture. I'm going to draw in the aura. Um, I think it's like a double. It's got like purple electricity and yeah, like blue. Given the electricity, Right, so what I'll do is we'll add sort of kind of like a spiky one coming out here. It's kind of like Goku's um, Super Saiyan God sort of. So this is like a blue goes around here so just doing this pretty quickly now not worrying too much about it right, so let me do something similar it's, that'll go all the way around his head and stuff but I want to add some like electric spikes and things all inside here so <clears throat> Just all around my edges. And then you'll have electricity. So this goes, you know, like in 
all these different patterns like this. Look at some around here. You can do these kind of randomly, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. <clears throat> you know, maybe some small ones. But roughly, um, maybe one more. Just going off the page, maybe up there. All right, but I think that'll do. That is how to draw Final Gohan from the new movie. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.